Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Besides this fitting doorbell and the Southern Rock, all was quiet Monday at the Way Out West Country Boutique. Just a few days ago, a stampede of shoppers were rustling up deals on boots, belts, and all the other fixins the store offered on Black Friday. We opened at 8 o'clock, um, steady, steady, steady all day. Um, just a lot of people very excited about kind of getting out. If the weekend was the land boom, then Cyber Monday was the Dust Bowl for Way Out West as shoppers stayed at home for online deals. If you're sitting at home online and you know, you're clicking on things that you might like, you know, who's there to help you? But it's not just brick and mortar retailers losing the Cyber Monday race. So is the state budget. It relies on sales tax to pay for everything from schools to prisons. Online stores with locations in Florida collect the six cent tax, but retailers outside the state normally don't. When the tax isn't collected, the onus falls on the shopper to download one of these forms from the Department of Revenue and mail it in with the taxes owed. Last year, about 7,000 people uh, downloaded the form, filled it out, and sent a check. That's minuscule compared to the number of people that actually bought things where taxes were not collected. The Florida Retail Federation says stores that don't collect the tax have an unfair advantage over those that do. They're asking state lawmakers to streamline the tax code to make it easier for online shops to know what to charge. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray.